Ready? Okay. Uh, I'm Liz, and this is my husband, Jose, and we are thankful for God's goodness and for God's faithfulness. So about two and a half months ago, my husband came home from work, and he looked at me and he said that he was going to give us two-week notice. Uh, he was at his, well, his old job uh, for about 10 years, and it was just becoming uh, a very hostile environment for him. And due to the pandemic that we have been in since March, um, his hours were being cut, and we just didn't know what was gonna happen. So he proceeded to write a resignation letter. And when I read that letter, it instantly hit me that, wow, my husband is really going to quit his job. Um, he didn't have a plan B. There was, no, there was no plan in place. And so I remember telling my husband, I looked at him and I said, I support your decision a thousand percent. So in that moment, um, I felt confident and I thought, okay, just maybe, maybe he'll rip up that resignation letter. I don't know. So um, around that time, Pastor Scott invited us to do a uh, Bible plan on the YouVersion app. And one morning, my husband was reading the, the Bible verses in the devotional for the day. And when he exited out of the plan, his phone chimed. And here comes an email from Tracy Unified School District. He opens it and he looks at me and says, hey, um, so I'm scheduled to take a test for a, the position that I applied for. Now, mind you, he applied for this position back in March, March. or April March. of this year. So right when the pandemic was at the beginning of it. Yeah. So um, he went and took that test. And in the email, it did say that it would take about a week or two to get results, but they told him that he passed that test right there and then. So we went back to life as usual. Uh, he's reading another devotional and scripture in the morning. His phone chimes again, and it's Tracy Unified again emailing him to set up an interview, uh, to interview for the position of transportation and maintenance. So he goes to the interview, and then he's told we have a position to offer you. So of course we were happy, we were rejoicing. And when he went to the interview, um, they said, okay, we'll get back to you. They got back to him, okay, you're hired. Um, so when it came time for him to go and do paperwork, we hit a wall. They looked at him and they said that his um, status to be in the country uh, was expired. So back in March, um, we submitted all the paperwork, we paid the fee that we needed to pay, but because of the pandemic, once again, um, everything was on hold. So when he was told that, he came home, shared the news, and yes, I went into full panic. Um, I didn't tell him though, I kept it to myself, and I started praying and just asking God to please show us the direction, show us what it is that we need to do. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, my husband got baptized about three and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. But before that, this man right here, um, I prayed for him for many years to come to accept Jesus as a savior. And I remember praying, you know, Lord, show yourself to him in such a way that he cannot deny who you are. And I believe that during this time of the waiting, uh, when he was told that all, you know, the process had to come to a halt, I really saw my husband's faith grow. Huh. He was clinging on to the word of God, his promises. He was clinging on to Jesus. And I would check in on him and just ask him, hey, how are you doing? Are you worried? And he would say, no, I'm not worried. I know that God's gonna work this out. So we get on the phone because of course nowadays with the pandemic happening, um, you're on hold forever. So we were able to get an emergency appointment with um, the Office of Immigration in Sacramento. 
and our son prayed for um for 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 all for us that morning and he just he asked the lord to place the right people in front of my husband and to continue to please work this out so my husband goes to the appointment gets the documentation that is needed and praise god um takes it to the school district and they look at him and they say okay come back next week we're going to have you sign your contract and you will start wednesday so um this man right here this amazing husband of mine has been working already for two weeks right mm -hmm. and um we just want to say that our god is big our god is faithful and he is so good i really we really believe that he uses whatever he needs to use in order to get our attention to help us grow in our faith to get closer to him and to see that the Bi the the god that we read about in the bible is alive and he is so real so we just want to encourage you that no matter where you're at in life a storm if you're on the mountaintop seek him with your whole entire heart because god is real and he is so faithful and he is so good. Even when we have to cry out, he's, he's so good. When things don't look so good to us, he is good. He is a faithful God and he's amazing, right? Yes, and we are thankful for it. Yeah, we <laughs> sure are. Thank you. Okay.